do I need to get vaccinated to visit Hawaii? How many tourists visit Hawaii each year? I feel like there's like a hundred or two hundred thousand tourists here at any given time. They're cycling through millions. I don't know. If I'm born in Hawaii, am I Hawaiian? Most people would say no. In the surfing world, everyone from Hawaii represents Hawaii, so they'll refer to Andy and Bruce Irons as Hawaiian, John John Florence, the Hawaiian, but they're obviously not Hawaiian, like Kanaka Maori Hawaiian. Rada is. You hear the, the big guy that did the Somewhere Over the Rainbow song that's so popular? He'll say, to the Hawaiians and to the Hawaiians at heart. You know, we're all Hawaiian if we have a little. For the most part, if you're born here, it doesn't make you Hawaiian. If you have Hawaiian blood, you're Hawaiian. How much is it to rent? A single family home in Eva Beach is probably going to start nowadays around like 3,200 a month up to 5,000 a month. Depends on the quality and the location. How much is it to rent in Hawaii? It really depends on what you're looking for. One bedrooms in town, studio. So one of our real estate agents, she lives in a studio with her, uh, with her husband and they pay a thousand dollars a month for like a studio loft kind of thing in Waikiki. So it really, really varies. Are there homeless in Hawaii? There's a bit of a homeless issue in Hawaii. There's definitely homeless in Hawaii and you're gonna notice it when you come here. Are there places that are worse? Yes. But there will always be that issue in this modern world. Yeah, there's homeless in Hawaii. What should I wear? Whatever you're comfortable in. Does it get cold in Hawaii? Talked about that earlier. In Mililani, sometimes you wake up in the morning, it's like 62 which is cold to us. Is traveling to Hawaii with kids easy? I'm gonna find out. I'm flying to Tennessee in a week with my kids. It's a long flight, no matter which way you slice it. Even right from California, it's you know about five hours, so no, it's not easy. And right now with COVID, you know, there's more restrictions. What do people in Hawaii eat? There's a thing in Hawaii, you go home, you cook rice. You don't even know what you're gonna eat, but you just cook rice. A lot of people keep the rice on warm, plugged in from the day before, like just always rice. So one thing we definitely eat is rice. You know, beyond that we eat everything. Seafood, poke, Hawaiian food, and all, those, all kinds of stuff. So we can get into that later. Why do they call it diamond head? I assume because if you look at the tip, so like diamonds at the tip. Probably more story to that, I don't know. Is there? That's why, right? Best spot for snorkeling on Maui. Molokini, right? I mean, you're not on Maui, right? But Molokini is Maui. So yeah, I mean, Maui. Molokini. Best spot for snorkeling on Oahu, Hanauma Bay, and then Shark's Cove. Where can I see lava flow into the ocean? On the big island. Google it. They have like places that take a, you can take a boat right where it's flowing out. But I also saw one where it kind of exploded and the lava came into the boat. So watch out. Why are there so many chickens on Kauai? Like I said earlier, Kauai is just like country. It's just very, very country and I don't know. What is professional attire in Hawaii? Well, you see me. I mean, I do real estate in this. In New York, probably always in a suit and tie and boots. And we have our sales manager for the, the real estate team that I'm like affiliated with. I have my own team. But our, the sales manager there, he's like from Canada and very professional. And he's like, why aren't you in suit? Honestly, I think my clientele, if I were in a suit, they wouldn't prefer it. It doesn't match my personality. But occasionally it's nice to put a little suit on, but no. Professional attire in Hawaii for men is typically aloha shirt, slacks. You can tuck a nicer aloha shirt in or leave it untucked. Slacks and dress shoes, that's professional. Spice it up more mainland style if you want. For women, I don't want to speak on it, but I mean, dress nice so you're not going to sweat too much. Uh, is it okay to drive with passengers in the back of the pickup truck in Hawaii? I don't know if it's legal. People do it all the time for sure. I grew up doing it. I look back on it. Like, probably not gonna do it with my kids unless it's, you know, they're in the neighborhood. We see it a lot. What is the best gift from Hawaii? My dad want, would want like local treats. So every time I go, I bring a cooler and bring food that you can only get in Hawaii. How can I travel inter-island? Google flights, you buy a flight and you get on the plane and you go. You can also go by boat or whatever. Can you hunt in Hawaii? Hawaii actually has a, a hunting culture. So I mentioned earlier on Lanai, you can go hunt axis deer, uh, mouflon. We have mountain goats pigs. Uh, Hawaiian pig hunting is a little different. They do it with dogs. Like the dogs attack the pig and then they come and stab it. You can definitely hunt in Hawaii. Where do people from Hawaii move outside of Hawaii? I think the most common places are the western seaboard of the mainland, you know, Washington, Oregon, California. You also see some people go to Colorado. There's a western undergraduate exchange program and I think Colorado is a part of that. One thing though, Hawaii is not like Florida. I'm not sure if that's on this list. But people say, oh yeah, Hawaii, Florida, palm trees. Like, it stops there. It's just not the same thing. It's not the same thing. I know uniquely because like, I'm from Florida. I was born in Florida. Then I moved to Hawaii and Hawaii is my home. So Hawaii and Florida, they're, they're not the same thing. Oh shoot, almost done. How many people from Hawaii surf? Seven. I don't know. People from Hawaii, a lot of people grow up and have at least their phase in high school where they were bodyboarders or surfers. Or, 
but like serious surfers in Hawaii, it's actually not as large of a percentage as you would think. Not that many people are real like true surfers. I grew up like a surfer, like surfing every day. I'm competent. A lot of my friends like have a board, know how to surf, or like in high school they, they would surf, but they weren't like surf like it wasn't their main thing. Do know? people live on the beach? Yes. You know, we mentioned earlier there's a homeless problem, so there are people that definitely live on the beach. Where did the shaka come from? I don't know. I was trying to think of something funny, like why and I. But, but uh, I don't know where the shaka comes from. It can come from anywhere. Down here, up here. There's different styles of shaka, you know? Actually, Ty, the manager, we have an old like inside joke, like a down low shaka, because sometimes guys, uncles will be drinking, and then they'll be like, okay, bro, you leaving? And they start high and then they go low. Going <laughs> down here. So when you come to the islands, for one, like I said, don't you talk pigeon. If it's not you, don't do it. You don't have to do it. Try to pronounce like community, like Eva, right? You don't have to talk pigeon. It's the same note, like if shaka is not your thing, then then don't do it. Just say thank you. Like thank you is just fine or whatever. Hey, how's it? You know, and then slowly you see this will start to you start to, hey, I've been here three years. The main thing with shaka, you only see little kids doing this, like really tight and doing this with this part facing forward. That's more like main line or tourists are a little kicky, right? There's this shaka in traffic. Thank you. There's an extended shaka. You seen this one before? Guys do this. There's always right here. <laughs> one pump. There's the, you see this one too, guys go. Can't forget the double shaka. Okay, well, I don't know what you call this one, but I see. Where can I learn hula? Seriously, Auntie Darlene. My, I mentioned my friends Jordan and Tyler in a few videos. She teaches hula. If you want to learn, I could connect you with her, but there's probably all kinds of places. You know, if you want to get serious, there's hula halals you could, you could learn from there. Are there seasons in Hawaii? Yes. There's hotter, drier season, and then there's little cooler, rainier season. And the cooler, rainier season is the waves on the North Shore season, and the hotter, drier is the waves on the South Shore season. Who is King Kamehameha? King Kamehameha the Great was the king that uh, I don't mess this up, it's been a while. King that unified the islands, right? I also want to speak on it if I'm messing it up. We came from, I'm pretty sure it came from the big island. Came conquering, you know, like uniting the islands through warfare. Got to Oahu, which had Pearl Harbor, the obvious place to come in and dock and set up and whatever. Hawaii is such a far uh, voyage compared to the other islands. Like we showed in one of our videos, you could see Maui, Moloka'i, Lanai, Big Island. So that you can tell those are all closer together, but then this way, out into the ocean, the island of Kauai is it's far. Kamehameha had issues conquering Kauai, so they eventually signed a treaty. So you'll see people from Kauai here, here talk about like, bro, we never conquered. King Kamehameha did that, he was the unifier of the islands, and then there's uh, King Kamehameha 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it illegal to camp on the beach? I don't know if it actually is in certain places, probably is. It's kind of like culturally understood that if you go like to the North Shore, like Mokuleia, people just, people camp. Or there's certain homeless people in certain areas and what are you gonna do? Is it illegal to camp on the beach? I'm not sure, but they're definitely designated places. So you might as well just go to Malai Kahana. If you're military, go to Bellows. You might as well just use those places. Barber's Point has some camping grounds. Does Hawaii have good shopping? I mean, Alamana Shopping Center is a famous shopping center, famous mall in the Pacific with all the, the Louis and Gucci's and all those D Disney store, all that type of stuff. But we have several malls. Yeah, I went over, I went over the, the different kinds of shakas earlier. See, the down low, the down. The mini, oh, the mini shaka, I don't know that one. What is the average home price in Hawaii? Right now it's like 970,000 is the median home price. Don't let that scare you. There are great townhome options. There are less expensive places. You gotta remember this is an average, but it is no doubt about it. It's very expensive. Uh, compared to if you're on a fixed income in Alabama or something. It takes uh, a lot of growth and, and competitiveness to, to live and enjoy comfortably this, this lifestyle. Do I need to get vaccinated to visit Hawaii? Today, I think the rules are if you have your card, you don't have to get tested when you get back to Hawaii. But if you arrive in Hawaii without your card and without a previous test within 72 hours or something, you gotta get tested before you leave the airport, I think. How do you say the state fish? Humu humu nuku nuku a pua a. So back to speaking Hawaiian earlier in the video or in the previous video, it's always hu u u u a a a. Humu humu nuku nuku pua a a. So once you learn how to speak Hawaiian, it's actually pretty easy. When did Hawaii become a part of the U.S.? So my dad was born in '44. Annexation '41, I think. Let's Google it. Hey Siri, when did Hawaii become a state? I was way off. 1959. So my dad was 15. 
probably knew that once upon a time, but anyways, that was a hundred things about Hawaii. We released this video in multiple parts. A lot of people who watch this are, are maybe a ways out. Maybe we've done extensive research on real estate and whatnot, but you're in that phase of like consumption. You just want to know about Hawaii. Not that you already know where you're going to live. You're, you know, you're going to live in base housing or you're going to buy or you got that figured out and you just want to know more about Hawaii. And that's what this one was. I hope it was entertaining and helpful for you guys. Make sure you comment. Leave a message, make sure to reach out to us. Our information is below. We're connecting with a lot of you guys and look forward to connecting with a lot more. Let us know if you guys need anything in terms of real estate in Hawaii.